We are back right here on Antigua Barbuda today. And right now we're going to be joined by Jason Gilead and he is one of the, or oh, he is the sub theme winner in the Wadadi Youth Pen Prize Challenge. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, how are you doing today? I'm very well, especially now that I'm talking to you because I want to find out what motivated you to be a part of the Wadadli Pen 2021? Uh, it it kind of happened by surprise, uh, quite unexpected. I am a member of a social club, the Optimist Club of St. John's. And the, as you know, with the pandemic, we're not meeting in person. One of our activities that we had was a short story writing contest. And so it was really a very quick thing. It was a 15 minute, hey, we need to write a story. So the topic was, uh, what do you think any I think it was any object around the home would view, how would they view the pandemic and so we had 15 minutes to write a short story on that it just so happened that a few days before that i had what you can only call an all out war with a wood sleeve in my house <laughs> i would for those who don't know um i think some people call it a house gecko so similar to a lizard and so i decided to write my short story on the wood sleeve and how I thought the wood sleeve viewed the pandemic or life during the pandemic. And this is the same story that you submitted to the pen challenge? That's what you're saying? Correct. And oh, wow. It, it actually just started as a joke because <laughs> a lot of persons on in the club chat once I read the story and everybody read their stories. Everybody was like, I really enjoy that. I'm, I'm smiling. I'm having a good time. You should submit it. And even these after person was saying, have you submitted it yet? I'm like, no, I'm not interested in that. And so I submitted actually the last night. I think mid the deadline was midnight. And I submitted it around 11 just to say, hey, I did it because y'all are terrorizing me to do it. Right. So to go from and something... And I really never expected anything to come of it. I never expected to hear about it again. Wow. So to go from something that started as a joke to emerging as the winner in the sub theme category and also your story um, got honorable mention for the main prize how does that feel it, it actually feels quite good um, a bit surreal actually in fact if you were to watch the video when it was announced I was genuinely in shock I as I said I never expected to hear anything else about the story it was just you know it was just one of those things and but I'm happy that it has done as well it is ha as it has and would just like to encourage other persons to use such platforms to, to write and to get their ideas out of their heads onto paper. That's so true. So in just a quick, I'm going to give you 30 seconds or, or, or so to just tell me, how does the wood slave see the pandemic? <laughs> well, the wood slave is really accustomed to having the house all to him or herself. I really don't know the sex of the wood sleeve. <laughs> so, <laughs> he or she, they're accustomed to having the house all to themselves because us humans, we're busy um, going out to work, going out to school, etc. And because of the pandemic and us being home so much more, the wood slave is now not having free reign of the house. They're seeing us on computers and talking to people in this box that they don't understand how you can be talking to people from a box, mm. which is all it talks, of course, uh -huh. <laughs> other places. And so the Woods, they decided to come out and investigate who those people are in the box. <laughs> Trust me. The in, the in the investigation, mm -hmm. um, coming into contact with a broom from yours truly. <laughs> Well, definitely, your story definitely is making me smile. That was only about 45 seconds of it. And I, I must commend you because anything that puts a smile on anyone's face, it's a good thing. So as a writer, especially, at this time. especially in this time, exactly. So let me ask you, as a writer, is there anything else that we can look forward to from you, you know, in the upcoming future, any more short stories to make us smile? And where can we find them if you do decide to write some more? Mm. Well, as I said, I'm not a writer. I, I don't consider myself a writer by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just someone who um, took up a challenge this time around. Uh, given this, you never know. You, you can't say never. I may decide to sit down and write a few more short pieces and put them together. 
uh, but if time permits, but I don't have any immediate plans to do anything or publish or put anything out there at the moment. Okay, Jason, you, you, say you're not a, so. you're, you say you're not a writer, but you've written and you've done a good job. And we want to tell you, congratulations on winning the sub-theme in the Wadadley Pen 2021. And I want to encourage you to write some more short stories because I want to, you know, I want to know some more stuff. All right? Thank you so much. All right.